All right, guys, here we are with the TV in the box. Now, this is going to be uh, pretty much an unboxing. I think I'll probably have a part at the very end of this video where the whole TV is all set up. It uh, looks like the box is intact for the most part. I don't see any uh, huge dents or anything like that. Uh, so, we have a wall mount here, which is going to go up uh, on this wall right here. Uh, for this TV, but we're gonna unbox it first just to make sure that it's not broken. Because if it was, I think every man would be very, very sad. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. Looks like it's uh, getting there. UPS delivered it pretty early today, pretty surprised. But uh, it works. Okie dokie. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. This product is packed bottom side up. Okay. Let's take the foam out. Looks like that's the bottom of the TV. Okay. Yep, that's the bottom of it. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to put this back in. That's what she said. Or is that what he said? I don't know. We're going to put that back in like this. And then we're going to tip over the box. And then do it from there. comes the TV. We put the box away. Now, got the remote and got a power cable. Now, let's uh, put these off to the side. And put that down as well. So here's the actual TV. Well, not really actual yet. Um, I'm really just praying at this point that nothing is broken uh, and the whole TV is intact, so I guess we're going to find out. The box looks fine, so um, I think that's the screen, so yeah, that's the screen, okay. Alright, let's uh, put the camera down one more time. We'll actually get it out of the bottom packaging. Try this at home, kids. Alright. Move some of this stuff to the side. We can just get the TV on here. And take a look at what it looks like on the inside. Alright. It looks intact. Doesn't look like I... I don't see any cracks or screens. Hopefully it works. So uh, this is a TCL Roku Smart TV. I'm almost uh, I'm out of packaging. There we go. I don't see any cracks. But styrofoam, lots of styrofoam on it. Here's the actual TV, 40 inches. Uh, looks very nice. I do not see any uh, thing, anything bad. You see the speakers on the bottom. Not sure how well the speakers are, uh, what the quality is like. But uh, let's go ahead and do the final stage of getting it up. Or uh, rather just undoing all this stuff. Oh yeah. It's the best part about anything you're gonna unbox it has plastic coverings over the plastic borders. Just like a brand new monitor. And there we go. Okay, so that is off. Just gonna go ahead and throw that over there. Now the stands 
I believe are to the other side. Oh, no, here they are. Here they are. Go ahead and take those out. Undo all the plastic crap. Here's one monitor, or here's one uh, mount for it, a stand. Of course, we're gonna use a stand by default until the wall mount is up. Shouldn't be long, shouldn't really be uh, this evening. We'll get that up, or maybe, maybe even sometime sooner, I'm not sure. All right. Okay, so here are both stands, a little bit of styrofoam. Here they are. Now, how do we get those on the bottom? Oh, okay. Looks like we just, uh, this one is the left one. So it looks like it's this one right here. Just not, oh, okay, I see. It goes like, this and then from there they are screwed in okay so this one is this right one all right now where is the hardware to do that is the question might be in this bag with the remote and everything it looks like they are tcl roku tv again guys this is a 40 inch tv um I wasn't expecting I was going to get one, although this one was for so damn cheap that I would be a fool to say no. Oh, cool. They actually provided uh, two little tiny batteries for the remote. That's kind of cool. The uh, power cable is here. Of course, we'll test everything in a little bit uh, once we just get it up on the floor. We'll take these screws out and we'll go ahead and screw each foot in. Very, very, very carefully, um, just to uh, make sure I don't break it or anything like that. Because breaking it would suck. But it's got a very sturdy base. Um, actually, very sturdy base. It's a very thick base, but the rest of it, um, after the base ends to the top, is uh, more or less uh, a pretty flat screen. Yeah? No? Okay. Well, this TV has got, uh, first of all, it has built-in Wi-Fi, um, so I can connect, uh, wow, that was a fail. So I can connect um, the TV up to uh, my home network here. And then from there, I can actually uh, stream Netflix. I can stream some other stuff. Um, and uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited. So let's uh, figure out, first of all, why this one's not getting on there at all. I just want to try and... Okay, was that so hard? All right, now is the hole lined up? I think right there it should be. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited to get this all installed here. Damn it, okay. I don't know why this isn't, uh, this isn't lining up. So that was my mistake, that was uh, stupid, but. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in. It does have rubber grips, or uh, rubber little pads on the bottom of the, um, uh, each leg on that mount right here, which is very, very nice. Um, of course, I'm not gonna have it on a stand or anything. I am gonna have it wall mounted for a reason. Um, hopefully, I don't know how, I don't know how well, but the speakers are on the bottom. Um, now, I'm not sure what the sound quality is or anything like that, so um, we're gonna find out whenever that time comes. 
Um, and if they're good, they're good, and I won't have to use the Bluetooth speaker that I have here. Um, and if they're not great, then I'll just hook up the speaker for shits and giggles and have a little bit better sound. I'm getting text messages, because I'm a popular guy. Let's go ahead and get this one in as well. Kind of a pain in the ass to be doing this on a couch, but it works. All right, we got one more. We'll go ahead and put it on the floor, and we will uh, plug it in, power it up, and give it a shot. So let's uh, go ahead and first of all take this energy guide sticker off. Damn styrofoam. All right, nope, let's go ahead and take the TV and we're gonna put it on the floor right over here. Actually, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the inputs on the back real quick here. Just let me move this around. Pretty big TV, so that's how it looks from the outside. It does have the vase mounting, which we are gonna be using today. And of course, we have AC in, so we have the power, we have HDMI, HDMI, HDMI. We have three HDMIs, as well as a headphone jack that is right here for optical. We have an antenna cable connector. We have a reset. We have USB 2.0 audio and SBDIF audio as well. So these can be for a stereo system. Uh, USB 3.0 actually, look at that, that's pretty sweet. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this plugged in. So let's get this power cable and then plug it in and hopefully it will boot up after we, of course we need to put uh, batteries in the remote, but hey, I mean, you know, a little, uh, little ahead of ourselves here, but that's okay. Get this. Let's plug into the power input just like that. Let's go ahead and move the TV back against the wall. All right, now let's get the remote. Oh wow, it's not. It's like in an actual like Ziploc bag. That's nice. And if I don't break it already, let's get the two batteries. Ten little triple A's. Like a plastic uh, wrap. Which is fine. I don't have any AAAs lying around, so that's very handy. Go ahead and pop the back off. Pop each AAA in. Alright, and we should be good to go. So let's sit on the couch <laughs> and see what we got. Wow, looks like everything is working. I don't see any uh, lines or anything like that. So I think it's uh, booting up, so to speak, at the moment. Here's the remote, uh, very self-explanatory, very, very plain remote. Okay, what's going on here? Of course, we have the Voodoo, uh, Radio, Amazon, and uh, Netflix dedicated buttons. Let's hit OK, let's get started. Home use. Oh, wow, it's gonna scan for networks. That's awesome, okay, ha, 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 ha. Now, which one, oh God, which one is it? Um, well, I'm pretty sure it's the Connect, which is the faster one, but I'm not sure. Let's check my phone because uh, I'm not sure about that. Yes, I know Amazon. My package was delivered. Okay, uh, let's do eConnect. Okay, so that is the one I want. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Ah, shit. All right, uh, I'll be back in uh, a little bit. All right, so the Wi-Fi is connected. It is uh, updating software, apparently. I don't know, you know, I don't know how long it's been sitting in storage for, of course. Um, so it's restarting, so that's kind of cool. So there's a software update. I'm not sure what that software update's gonna do, uh, but it's connected to the Wi-Fi, so it downloaded, now it's just gonna install it. Um, a little smaller than I thought. I, I obviously overestimated the thought of 40 inch, but it's gonna go up on that wall and it'll be perfect. Um, so I just have to get that wall mount up uh, whenever I can, essentially. Um, uh, and then from there, it'll be uh, it'll be all good. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. Now we just kind of have to give it a give it a second so we continue with the setup process. But uh, I think this is pretty cool, actually. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I will get to you guys in a little bit. Oh, that's fucking awesome. 
I will get you guys just in a little bit um, once everything is all set up and everything looks all schmexy and stuff. And I'll tell you, uh, well, I'll just do a couple sound demos and stuff. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right, here we are one day later with TV mounted on the wall. Everything is good. I can bring it out if I really want to. Uh, but I think right up against the wall it looks good. We have a coffee table here now, which I just got and put together. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm curious whether, whether or not you guys think that the poster behind it should stay or go. Uh, I really like it because that wall has all of the Philip DeFranco posters, so I don't really want to, you know, I don't really want to take it down. Because um, if I did take it down, it would be a really blank wall. Yes, it would look really clean, kind of. Now I guess it looks a little cluttered. Uh, no, but I like the poster up there because you can still see what matters of that poster. You don't need to see the bottom frame part. So I like it, but uh, whatever. This is going to be a. a quick little vlog. I just wanted to show you guys some stuff. First of all, I'll go to the home screen here. I'm going to grab uh, something while I'm over here. Uh, you can go to the home screen. And of course, we have three HDMIs on this thing, so I don't have anything connected now. Um, I just have all the applications for streaming. But I'm going to go ahead and go over to this app called Plex. Essentially, I have it set up on my computer as well. And my account is obviously linked on here. So I can I have my home videos. So these are essentially all of my uh, uh, songs or, oh, well, this is added music. This is recently added movies. These are all my videos. So I can go to home videos, movies, or music. I'll go to movies and then I'll select all movies. And then this is my entire movie library streaming directly from my computer which is pretty freaking sweet. So if I wanted to pick uh, one thing or another, Insurgent, Iron Man's are all together, John Wick, and everything is uh, searched. So the title of the movie is searched, and then a uh, uh, the real movie thumbnail is set to that title. So everything looks really good. Everything's got the title. It tells you when it came out, how long it was. Pretty, pretty sweet. So let's, um, Star Wars, of course, take in movies. Uh, if I wanted to pull up, uh, hmm, Unfriended, by the way, Unfriended, this movie sucked. It was an hour and 22 minutes of just looking at a virtual computer screen. It sucked. It was not good at all. Let's pull up the water boy. And we'll pull up with this page. Tells you how long it is, directors, all that good stuff. No subtitle files. You can change some visual aspect settings. 720p, 2.0 stereo sound. We hit play. It's gonna go ahead and take a second. And then here we go. And if we fast forward a little bit, from the handy dandy remote that is uh, very plain, but it's a uh, it does a job, and I can use a remote from my uh, phone as well. Go ahead and hit play. Even though he was slightly discouraged to me recently, I, I'm gonna have to see Captain and say no. Okay, okay. I want you. Right to now, it looks a little fuzzy because it's uh, buffering. Does to the bad guy. Go. But other than that. We'll pause it real quick. We'll go to the home page. I just have Netflix streaming on here most of the time. The other thing I wanted to share with you guys uh, in this one um, is uh, something new, something you guys have seen before, um, but is uh, fairly, fairly new. So I kind of did something to my lightsaber. Uh, I kind of took it apart and I kind of bought my own parts for it. Um, so it kind of looks awesome. Uh, so yeah, so basically we have the uh, standard hilt here, uh, which I should not have taken apart or I wasn't supposed to take apart, but I did. I have new pins, new gold pins in there. This is a plastic part for now. Uh, and then nothing's back there currently because this hole and the one back here are offset because I got the wrong blade holder, which is okay. The blade holder is all metal. 
On the inside you can see a, uh, a little plastic uh, thingamajigger um, that goes over the LED in here. Uh, this one in here, if you guys are Saber Freaks, this is a uh, Luxion Rebel Blue, or it's a cyan color. Um, of course, everything is hooked up. The clash sensor is still hooked up in here. I just soldered everything back together. Made a few uh, connection improvements with the soldering. Of course, the speaker is still on the bottom. And of course, the, the switch is still here. So if I wanted to turn it on, still just as loud. It's very, very bright. And if you wanted to hear the clash, it's still very accurate. And that is that without the blade, essentially now I can just take this and put it on my belt for anything I want to. Now for the blade, I'm gonna go ahead and have to get my screwdriver over here because I was working on the coffee table. We unscrew this retention screw right here. It's kind of a, it's kind of a pain. Any day now. Come on. Really? Do I have to do this? There we go. So that comes out just a little bit. Doesn't come all the way out, of course. Doesn't need to. Uh, and then from there, take the blade, which is currently uh, retrofitted with some tape on the end, just to keep it snug. Slides right into the blade holder, all the way down. That part will come off occasionally. Like I said, still working on that. And then we tighten this down. into the blade and then we're done blade doesn't wiggle around removable blade whenever the hell I want to we'll go ahead and go into the hallway here this is a little darker power this baby on and you can see it's much brighter uh, the tip looks a little funny <laughs> just the tip uh, because it's not doesn't have a, a reflector up there so it just kind of it's pretty base for the most of it and then up here it kind of fades and then up the tip it looks really bright. Of course, very accurate. Uh, looks very good actually, especially on camera. Um, the only unfortunate thing, of course, it doesn't have the up and down motion, so it doesn't, you don't see the blade going up. Uh, and then retracting, but it's a very good night light. Zeus appreciates it apparently. And uh, yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks pretty sweet. In normal light, it's pretty bright. Um, well, for the most part, at least, at least down by the base. Uh, but I like how the camera gives it kind of like a, a glow around it to make it look like it's actually a real one. So uh, yeah, that was my project that I did for a little while. And then of course my recent project was all this. So now we have a flat screen TV in here that we can stream stuff from the computer. Um, I'm still thinking about, well, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to get the newest beta of GeForce Experience to stream from the TV or from the computer to the TV. I mean, if people are over and they want to watch me game, then that's cool, because uh, that'll work, because we have the couch right here. Uh, a little pushback, because the coffee table, so anybody can put their drinks down, whatever. Pianos push back a little bit more, of course, so this area is kind of a little bit more, a little bit more cramped, but that's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get through it. And uh, yeah, so we got a wall mount TV. I think it looks pretty sweet. It's pretty level uh, for the most part. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share this stuff. Uh, in the beginning, you guys will see the unboxing. And then, um, yeah, I was going to do a time lapse, but I figured, screw it. So there is some information in there for some, uh, some stuff for you guys to watch. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this little background. 
uh, into my stuff. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.